Seconds into flight, Falcon 9 successfully lifting off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. It's nominal. Carrying those 60 Starlink satellites into orbit, this particular booster lighting up the Florida coast for a seventh time. Now, uh, we just began throttling down those Merlin 1D engines for maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. That's the point when the stresses on the vehicle are the highest from the combination of the vehicle speed and the density of the atmosphere. Max Q. And now that we're through the point of maximum dynamic pressure, the loads on the vehicle, the structural loads, are going to drop off as the density of the atmosphere continues to decrease. During that third event, second engine start one, we'll ignite the Merlin vacuum engine that'll propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites into an elliptical orbit. And Miko. And we chill in those turbo pumps with uh, liquid oxygen just to get them ready for ignition. Stage separation confirmed. Left hand side of your screen. Back ignition. First stage separating, second stage ignition. Love that green glow from the T-TAB ignition. For the second stage, look for that on the right-hand side of your screen. Bearing separation confirmed. Beautiful shot there of those Starlink satellites. Finally getting to see space directly. We, uh, now that we're outside of the atmosphere, the, we don't need those fairing halves anymore, so we'll jettison back to Earth to recover them. As a reminder, we do have our recovery ships Miss Chief and Ghost Searcher waiting at the Atlantic to scoop up both of those fairing halves. On the left hand side of your screen there, we saw the very last remnants of night lights visible off the Florida coast. That was a pretty awesome sight there as Falcon 9 lifted off. Now there we can see second stage with a healthy glow there on the MVAC engine. As second stage heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit, the first stage will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. Now, if you happen to have followed along with our most recent launch on this past Saturday, where we launched out of Vandenberg Air Force Base, Bermuda. and there we heard, heard the call out that we have good orbit for that second stage. First stage is continuing to coast and it uses nothing but grid fins for that steering as well as occasional nitrogen gas bursts for attitude control of the screen. Yes, we will see the entry burn Stage beginning. Entry burn startup. And entry burn has begun. Again, this is the first of two maneuvers that the first stage will perform tonight. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And shut down of first stage entry burn. So Stage that two burn continues to follow a nominal trajectory. That burn was designed to slow the booster down significantly as it re-enters the upper part of the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. As I was saying, this is the seventh successful launch for this booster, and this, that will make this the seventh recovery attempt. down one, landing burn startup there we heard the call out that landing burn has begun so we should see that come into the screen here just momentarily stage two fts is saved everything's continuing to look good there on the second stage the stage MVAC. two terminal guidance stage one landing leg deploy Landing legs have deployed. Here it comes. 
This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to make a soft the landing on, a nominal on the drone ship. So we heard there that the vehicle's on nominal trajectory. That's good, good news there. All right. And for the seventh time, this Falcon has landed. This marks our 61st successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. And we have Seiko. And as the smoke clears, we can get a good view there. And we just heard the call out that we had Seiko 1, our second engine cut off 1. So at this point in time, Insertion. and there we heard, heard the call out that we have good orbit for that second stage. Looks like we have a visual there. Starlink deploy confirmed. And of course, always lovely to see our deploy payload deployment successful on the mission. And that will bring our webcast to a close this evening. Thank you to the range and FAA for supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers as well as those in the US and Canada who have ordered Starlink under our public beta program. If you haven't signed up yet and are interested in being part of our beta program, head over to Starlink.com and sign up. Thanks for joining us and have a great evening.